Hey everybody, it's Jason Baja here, and once again it is time for my client Demi's vlog, and we started the week off with a bench press. Now, he knows like most of my guys do, I'd like to see a little better pause there, but it was a lifetime PR for him on his bench, small PR. Um, although, again, I'm going to want to focus on pausing a little more, so in the near future, uh, I might take him over to more pause benching for rep work. Uh, but, of course, the thing is, I don't think his max would actually be lower if he practiced pausing. Uh, because in, in his case, um, triceps are a weak link in his pressing strength. All right? Triceps are a weak link. His chest is big enough to press a little more than he can bench right now. What we have is uh, undersized triceps combined with pretty long arms. He's a tall guy. Uh, he, he's over six foot tall. Okay? He's over six foot tall. Uh, so... In this case, that long wingspan, smaller triceps. Uh, again, something I personally can relate to, right? Something I personally can relate to. I'm not particularly tall, but I have that really long wingspan. So, you know, I, I feel the struggle there. Uh, but for supplemental work, of course, for him, we do floor presses. We do rows, uh, some floor skull crushers, uh, things like that. Some of that didn't get on camera uh, this week because, uh, again, just the footage that he was able to get over to me. Now, we also did a, a deadlift, and I forget the exact number. I put that up previously in some reels and shorts uh, when he hit that deadlift last week. Um, but it was a nice, solid deadlift. And, of course, we have an informal event coming up next week. So, um, his, again, he's going to have a couple days off next week to get ready for it. But he is doing, uh, again, an unsanctioned deadlift contest. But our goal is to walk in and PR there. So we're hoping to see a deadlift PR and then he'll get start getting ready for the platform for later in the year. But uh, again, for max effort, lower day, we did a deadlift. Nice, solid, conventional pull there. Um, I have him do chin-ups afterwards. We do good mornings. Uh, he's st quite strong on the good mornings. A lot of my lifters are, right? Because uh, we do a lot of work for hip extension and those things. So, I'm a big fan of good mornings. Uh, of course, that comes up. People will say, well, why don't you do them these days? Uh, mainly because I don't need the axial loading. Uh, I find that for me, they beat me up. Mainly because I get so strong at them so fast that it ends up being a ton of a ton of axial loading. Because, uh, I mean, you guys have seen me do 500 plus pounds multiple times with good mornings. Even my 10 rep sets get excruciatingly heavy. Right? We're talking, I've done the 350 to 400 pounds for, for 10s before on different bars. So, uh, again, it's a reason I don't personally do them that much. And again, it just has to do with the axial loading with my age. Although maybe I'll work them back in. But these younger lifters, a lot of these younger lifters who don't have all the equipment that I have, we make use of them. Okay? And my people get real strong doing them. Again, I use them to build a lot of my strength base. And I don't always have to sustain that supplemental lift to maintain the muscle built. Hey, this is just a point to keep in mind. We don't always have to continue to use the exercise that we use to build stuff if we can find something that gives us less fatigue that will continue to stimulate those same muscles. Hey, and that's, that's a point that, that people often, often fail to realize. Right? You can use one exercise to build a muscle and then use a completely different exercise to sustain it. It's tension is tension. Hey. Tension is tension. And it uh, reminds me of a, of a topic that came up in my, my comments on, uh, <laughs> on a, you know, a video I had made. Someone had brought up, well, you know, people were saying, Jay Cutler doesn't know how to bench press or being haters. Well, I'm like, well, he doesn't know how to bench press. And, and it's just, you can watch him bench press. He doesn't. But he also didn't build his chest bench pressing, right? He's not a power lifter. He's not a strength athlete. He's a bodybuilder. Uh, obviously, obviously, absurdly genetically gifted for what he does. Okay. Obviously uses very copious amounts of anabolic substances and cocktails. Right. He doesn't have to necessarily know how to bench press correctly. And if he didn't even use the bench press to build his chest, uh, you know, why does it matter? But I've seen plenty of people do that. They use certain exercises to build up a muscle and then change exercises and still maintain that muscle and even grow it later. 
Because again, tension is tension. And I think that's, that's a point we could make there with that. The bench press is a somewhat technical exercise. Uh, has a little bit of nuance to it. And, and a person can <laughs> be terrible at benching and not use it and still get big using something else. Doesn't mean that they're not big. You know, of course not. Now, in Demi's case here, uh, we're doing good mornings. We did some uh, lunges with the safety squat bar. And here we're doing glute bridges. Right, these all work great for our purposes. They work great for our purposes. Uh, so, you can tell, <laughs> look at his face. He's like, <laughs> you can tell he doesn't like this. He's stuck under the bar with the, the glute bridge. All right. Here again, we have some more good mornings. Uh, so we didn't get a lot of, I don't think we got his speed bench day in really. We didn't get a lot of upper body work from this vlog. So for this vlog then, we've got a lot of the lower body stuff. So I'm gonna have obviously his dynamic effort stuff coming up here also. I guess he sent me a couple different sets of these good mornings. He wanted me to look at the, the form on the two. So I just threw them into the vlog because it's what I had to work with. You know, he's like, am I going low enough? Is everything good? I'm like, well, you look great. And he's strong at these. Right? But I think, I think, let's, let's stop and look at what he's doing with the good morning here. Notice the hips being pushed back. He's able to keep that back in extension. Right? He's able to keep the back in extension. He's able to keep that bar midfoot while pushing the hips all the way back. That is a solid power good morning. Okay? This sort of good morning he's doing right here, this will carry over to your squats. Okay, here we got a little bit of speed benching in. Uh, so his dynamic effort days for upper look very, very similar to the lowers. Uh, we speed bench, then of course we do the floor presses, uh, we do rows, we do tricep work. Um, I need to see some footage of his band work. So I have him at this point now, I've taken out the front raises and things and we're hammering triceps. So I have him do two tricep exercises every workout. One of them is of course a barbell one with the floor skull crushers and then we do band work afterwards. So we're doubling down on the triceps. Now I don't like these speed pulls. I'm pulling Sumo out of his rotation. He just doesn't have the hip mobility with the equipment he has right now and the way he's been training. He doesn't have the hip mobility with his levers to Sumo correctly, okay? Because if you guys look at that, that basically is a stiff leg deadlift. It's a wide stance stiff leg deadlift. Well, that's that's not really not really ideal, is it? So I'm going to rotate him back to uh, conventional pulling for that for a bit. Um, when I get him into a normal gym and he's not training at home as much, and I can work on stuff like his hip mobility, we might be able to do some more sumo work. But uh, the way he's doing those, we're just not getting low enough. We're not squatting enough into it. Uh, so for those who, who don't understand, basically a sumo deadlift should look very similar to your box squat. Okay? In fact, a box squat is almost a sumo deadlift. Like a, a correctly performed box squat and a, and a sumo deadlift look very, very similar. I'm not saying they're exactly. There's definitely some similarities. They have more in common than they have different. So uh, again, stuff we need to work on for him. His box squat needs work, so his sumo needs work. All right, guys, but well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.